Welcome to the Coaches Desk, everyone. Trusting that everybody's doing well, everybody's doing all right. Yes, people. Yeah, man. We're gonna be talking about Paul Christians with Paul Hall. Yeah, people. You're gonna be learning about some things that uh you probably know about. Um, you probably yeah, knew about I mean 10 quick questions with 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 with, with the coach. Will he be the coach? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, he was interim coach. You know? We have not any update to date on his uh move. We yeah, so let's talk about Paul Hall. No, um Paul Alozak, which high school did he attend? He said Mesa in Birmingham, England. So this man is a Birmingham man, people. And he was asked, what was it like, you know, to be in Jamaica and now as interim head coach? Um, Paul Hall replied by saying, representing Jamaica was a privilege as a player and even a bigger privilege for him, you know, people, to lead and coach the national team. And um, what about you would surprise people? This is not a surprise to me because I learned of that before, but it might be a surprise to some of I am a qualified journalist. I studied journalism just before I retired from playing. So people, so Paul all react and, and, and friends, it is as a result of him being qualified journalistic field. Yes, yeah, so you can't go around him and the man know the questions to ask. So are the questions to answer. Yeah, he knows exactly where it is coming from. Um, if it wasn't for football, Paul Hall would be, you know, a chef. <laughs> Paul Hall would be a chef, people, if it wasn't for football. So uh, most of his friends growing up were chef. So you think that he would have gone down that career path. Um, his mother encouraged him um, to cook. So he indeed has a passion um paul says people um to him it's going from one point to another and being able to chart improvement along the way what say you that answer success it's is success winning <laughs> But being able to, you know, move from one point. Hmm. Is that a means of saying winning is successful? Hmm. I think so. But let me hear your thoughts. Um, he has a vision for the sport people. And his vision for the jo football in Jamaica is, is for their... Um, from the grassroots level all the way up to the national team. And that has been an issue throughout the years. And Paul all believes if he's given the job, he would be able to the whole moving from grassroots national team or to Europe. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if he should probably say um professional football rather than just the national team. Is that real a good um vision? People answer this question. Is that really a good? Because if he just wants to move them from grassroots to the national team, is it only about the national team? Is it about developing players that they be able to be exported? Hmm. Your views. This is my views, you know, people. I, I am being um basically critical of 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 of, of these answers. A bashing is just my point of view. Yeah, he's worse sport, sport when he retired from football and his best sporting moment that goes without saying represented Jamaica in the 1998 World Cup, also becoming yeah, that's a favorite food, Akian Salfish. Akian Salfish. Every single day, people. Every single day. All right. So, last question. 
what's your band singer? Um, the man love reggae music in all its forms. Bob Marley, Jimmy Cliff are his favorite, you know, from the past in the future. And um, the new generation, yeah, who was actually at the match as well, yeah, man, big up to loot and um is also one of his favorite songs um his favorite songs would be could you could you build and harder they come so yeah man these are his favorites and that's 10 questions with paul all what say you people what are your thoughts paul all. you think they are good questions you believe um he answered them well hmm, let me hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Again, for tuning into the show, people. Enough respect. Manners. Be safe. Peace out.